Well, relationships are not always easy, especially when conflict arises, and that's where our Love in the Morning segment comes in. That's right. We're here to help. And for the very first time, our relationship expert joins us live in the studio with answers to your questions. Certified relationship and marriage coach Jennifer <laughs> Blaine Cool is here in person. Yay, I'm so excited to be here in person with I you, know. too. We're so excited, excited too. to have you on the couch <laughs> after like a year of, of zooming it up. It's been fun. Behind the scenes, everybody's been like hugging Jennifer. It's like, oh, you're real. <laughs> Hi. You know, it's, it's so exciting to have you in here. Yeah. It's fun. It's yeah. fun. So, uh, so we, we've got you here and ready to tackle some new questions. Awesome. Got some questions in from viewers this morning. Our first one comes from Mike on Facebook. He asks, how do you keep a relationship great when you are with that person 24-7? Ooh. Ooh. Sounds like you, you live together, work together, uh, share a lot of time together. Okay, yeah. so 24-7, you definitely have to put in the conscious effort to separate your roles. So you've got to draw lines and boundaries between uh, the work slash responsibility part of your life uh -huh. versus the fun, playful, romantic part of your life. So um, drawing those lines and not merging roles, which is so natural and human for us to do. So I, I think that's kind of our default thing to do, blend roles, but yeah. to, to separate that and uh, you know have rituals that take you away from your autopilot mode or where you're blending roles can really help you be present um, and have fun or be present and get work done, but you're not trying to have fun and be romantic on your date night, but you're really talking about work talking and checking your emails. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how yeah. much more common is that question because of the pandemic? You also have people who do different Extremely. jobs. They both work but they're remotely, both working at home, so they're, so they're just like home. together. Extremely. Yeah. I, I got a lot more clients specifically over that theme. So, oh, <laughs> so, uh -huh. so it was uh -huh. a pressing pain point for, for a lot of folks, for sure. sure. Yeah. yeah, I mean, my, my first inclination too would be to say, don't spend 24 seven together. <laughs> if you can, you know, really, really try to carve out <laughs> yeah. that time and I think sometimes if you have those conversations ahead of time like hey I want to set aside a night with my friends or yes. I want you to have a hobby that's something that you go do for for you that right. whole absence makes the heart grow fonder thing right? absolutely I was just gonna say that Emily I mean we, we do need we do need separation so having planned out intentions around you both doing your own thing yeah. whether it's with other people friends or you know you go work out separately so mm -hmm. great point love that yeah all right well the next question is from Michael so not Mike I don't believe we have uh, the, the same. Lots of mics with yeah, queries. Yeah, a lot of mics. Yeah, no, this, <laughs> uh, this, was, this was on Instagram. Yes, this one, yeah, coming from Instagram. And he asks, what do you do about a partner who's loving and caring in private, but rude and insulting around friends? So a different Ooh. person individually than they are, you know, out in public around others. Yeah, when, when, their, when their love one. language can be roasting you. Yeah, that's, <laughs> right? that's kind of rough. Well, what I want to say is the way your partner treats you in private is probably the most authentic way they're going to treat you. Yeah. So I love that your partner is loving on you and caring on you in private. Uh, it's unclear to me whether the insulting is towards you when you're out with friends or if it's more banter and insulting towards the friends. But if it's towards you, I'd love to say it might sound crazy, but humans meet needs in all sorts of ways, even destructive, negative ways. So mm -hmm. is there a saving face that's trying to happen? Uh, is, is your partner trying to fit in? Does your partner have some kind of social discomfort where they're, they're, trying, to, they're trying to put on a face uh, to, to get more comfortable, to, to fit in? Um, a lot of people do this through banter uh, that can be easily misinterpreted right yeah. by their partner they, they think they're being funny they think they're being the the light of the the dinner party but they're leaving their partner uh, feeling pretty um, insulted mm -hmm. so um, my best piece of advice also is um, express to your partner how it makes you feel and do your best to express how it truly makes you feel without criticism towards them yeah which takes effort That's and a lot of sure. consciousness yes yeah. it does uh, but it's amazing how often uh, partners don't understand the impact that their behavior has yeah. on their partner. Mm -hmm. They might think the exact opposite a lot of times. So, so um, in a non-triggered uh, fashion, <laughs> uh, try to express you know your internal world. Yeah. You know? That sounds like one of those conversations too, like talking about a non-triggered fashion. You want to have that talk, you know, not like right before or right after you're going to hang yes, out with friends when everything's right. already kind of emotionally charged. Right. Wait and leave it the next day when you can both talk about it calmly. Exactly. At least try to. Right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Attempt to. Attempt to. <laughs> okay. So our last question. I think this one's really interesting. It's from Rachel on Facebook. She writes, "My boyfriend never wants to go on weekend trips or vacations with me and my friends, but then he gets mad when I go without him. <laughs> I wish he wanted to travel more, but how can I make him okay with me traveling?" Mm -hmm. That's a tricky situation. 
So ask yourself, or better yet, ask him, what is he needing and wanting instead? Okay, if he doesn't like the picture the way it is, what does he need and want instead? And to also ask him in a non-triggered fashion, like you were just touching on, mm -hmm. why doesn't he want to go? Again, there, there's probably a world of data and detail mm -hmm. that, that you might not have. Uh, so having that non-triggered, calm, loving conversation out of curiosity, you know, listening to understand then, then defend yeah. around, okay, why, why, why don't you want to go with, with my friends? Yeah. Maybe he has beef with one of your friends, mm -hmm. you know? Now, is it fair for him to be frustrated with her for still wanting to go on these trips? You know, maybe, th maybe they're going and it's like supposed to be a couple's weekend right. and she's the one flying solo. Like, can he be mad if he doesn't want to go? It's a tough question to answer because I don't have as much information yeah, as so I want. So you need some detail. Yeah. It's, yes. kind of, it's kind of nuanced. But, yeah. but it's still a great question. And the way I would answer it is everybody in a relationship has a right to be an individual as well as a couple. So you, you fully have a right to, to do your own thing, go on your trips, especially if your partner is like, I don't want to go. Yes, you have the right to go. But at the same time, uh, there's a world there. So. Yeah. Uh, why are they upset? Is it that you are always wanting to go? I'm just, as an example, you know, are you always wanting to go as a group? Have, mm -hmm. you, have you worked to have those times where you're traveling alone together, yeah. minus friends? So, yeah. so maybe, maybe your partner just is craving alone time with you and it's coming out as criticism towards your traveling with friends. Mm. So get to that world. Mm. You're always so good at finding the other perspective. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I jump quickly to conclusions. Yeah, but this so. is why we she's the pro and why we have her. And it's great to have you in studio again. Aww, so it was, it was great a to pleasure see you. to be and, here with you guys. Yeah, yeah it was awesome. So much, it was Jen. really great. Thanks so for thanks me. for stopping by. Thank you. All right. And again, if you have a question for our relationship expert, send us a message right now on the Coin News AM Extra Facebook or Instagram pages. Your question may be answered right here on the show, and you can remain anonymous. That's right. Slide into those DMs. <laughs>